Nigeria has shocked the world once again, this time with a historic $3 billion solar energy drive that could change the trajectory of its power sector forever. In a sign that Africa's most populous nation may soon anchor West Africa's great energy leap, four Nigerian states on Tuesday, October 14, signed transformative solar mini-grid agreements under a sweeping renewable energy initiative that has left energy analysts around the globe in awe. The deals struck during the opening of the Nigerian Renewable Energy Innovation Forum in Abu Jar mark the boldest step yet in Nigeria's journey toward energy independence, sustainability, and industrial transformation. Could this be the moment Nigeria finally breaks free from decades of blackouts and grid collapses that have held back its true potential? President Bola Tinubu, while declaring the forum open, made it clear that this was not just another conference filled with promises. He announced that within three days, at least $400 million worth of renewable energy contracts would be signed, an announcement that sent ripples of excitement through the continent. His statement underscored Nigeria's pivot away from an unstable national grid toward distributed, reliable, and locally produced solar systems. Vice President Kashim Shetima, joined by the Rural Electrification Agency and top energy stakeholders, emphasized that the time had come for Nigeria to end its dependence on imported solar panels, especially from China, and start building local capacity. According to him, this shift is not only about power, it's about sovereignty. If Nigeria can build its own clean energy systems, does it not also reclaim control over its economic and industrial destiny? At the heart of the forum was the signing of $435 million in renewable energy investment agreements, part of the broader $3 billion renewable energy fund. These new deals brought together both state governments and private players under the Nigeria Solar Marketplace Initiative. In Ogun State, Renew Power and Tranos will deploy an impressive 500 megawatts and 600 megawatts of solar capacity respectively projects that could transform the state into a hub of clean industrial energy. Lagos State, Africa's largest megacity, will see Oxano Solar develop a 150 megawatts project, while Veen Photovoltaic Technologies partners with Greenlight Planet Sun King Nigeria and Sunta Solar Energy Africa to establish a solar panel recycling plant with an annual output of 2,484 tons a project that positions Lagos as a future center of circular solar economy in Africa. In Aqua Ibom, Trestle Solar Solutions is set to roll out a 500MW solar farm, while Kana will host a 600MW installation by IRS Green Energy. Down in Bayelsa, J Marine Logistics is leading a deployment expected to light up entire communities and in Abu Jar's federal capital territory. PVG Solar is developing a 500 megawatts plant in partnership with International Missions and the Netherlands-based SNV. These projects are not just numbers on paper. They are symbols of rebirth for a country long defined by power outages and energy scarcity. From a modest baseline of only 11 megawatts of solar capacity in 2015, Nigeria reached 102 megawatts by 2022 and stood at 144 megawatts by 2024, according to the International Renewable Energy Agency. But what's coming next dwarfs all previous efforts. With over $3 billion in ongoing renewable energy projects and an ambitious plan to scale local assembly capacity from 131 megawatts to 1,531 megawatts, Nigeria is preparing for an energy revolution. Owendo Clean Energy, for instance, is already partnering with the RDA to build a 1,200 megawatts solar assembly facility, with the first 600 megawatts production lines set for next year. It's not just about power, it's about industry, innovation, and a future where energy is made in Nigeria by Nigerians for Nigerians. But to truly understand why this $3 billion solar fund matters, one must look at Nigeria's grim energy reality. The country's total firm generation capacity is around 13,000 megawatts, 
yet its transmission grid can only handle about 8,000 megawatts, and less than 4,000 megawatts actually reaches consumers consistently. This means millions of homes and businesses remain in perpetual darkness, while diesel generators roar across cities, choking the air with fumes and draining billions of dollars annually in fuel imports. Entire industries struggle to survive under the weight of energy costs, while hospitals, schools, and households grapple with unreliable power. How long can a nation of over 200 million people thrive under such conditions, and could solar be the light at the end of this long, dark tunnel? To grasp the magnitude of Nigeria's new direction, one must appreciate the beauty and brilliance of solar energy itself. Solar energy works by converting sunlight into electricity through photovoltaic cells, tiny, intricate panels that harness the boundless energy radiating from the sun. When photons from sunlight hit these cells, they excite electrons, creating an electric current that can power homes, factories, and even entire cities. The technology is simple yet profound, a direct connection between the Earth's most abundant resource and human ingenuity. Unlike fossil fuels, solar energy does not emit carbon dioxide, does not rely on pipelines or fuel shipments, and does not run out. Africa, bathed in sunlight for most of the year, holds an unparalleled advantage in this regard. Isn't it astonishing that a continent so rich in sunlight remains energy poor, when the very solution beams down upon it every single day? In Nigeria's case, the potential is truly staggering. The country receives an average of 6.5 hours of peak sunlight daily, enough to power every home, school, and business many times over if fully harnessed. Beyond its environmental purity, solar energy is decentralized, meaning it can reach the most remote communities without depending on massive grid infrastructure. It can turn villages into self-sustaining micro-economies, reduce rural-urban migration, and power agriculture, education, and innovation. And because it is clean and renewable, it helps Nigeria meet its climate commitments under global agreements, while creating local industries in solar panel manufacturing, maintenance, and recycling. Linking these limitless possibilities to Nigeria's bold $3 billion investment, it becomes clear that the country is not just building solar plants, it is building the foundation of a new economic era. With this investment, millions of Nigerians stand to benefit from more reliable, affordable, and sustainable power. The initiative promises to boost industrial productivity, attract foreign investment, create thousands of green jobs, and save billions in fuel imports. It also addresses Nigeria's specific energy goals under the 2060 Net Zero Vision which targets 277 gigawatts of total installed capacity. Vice President Shedema described this clean energy shift as not only an environmental necessity, but also a strategic economic move, one that builds industries, strengthens national security, and redefines the nation's energy future. Is it possible that this moment will be remembered as the dawn of Nigeria's clean energy independence? Power Minister Adebayo Adelabu reaffirmed that the government aims to develop 4 gigawatts of solar manufacturing capacity per year, supported by private developers and the Rural Electrification Agency. He added that reforms under the Electricity Act 2023 are creating new markets for clean energy while improving transparency and revenue. International partners have also rallied behind Nigeria's ambition with the European Union pledging continued investment after having already injected over 200 million euros into the country's power sector since 2008. Germany, too, expressed strong support for Nigeria's transition toward a green, local and inclusive energy future. In truth, Nigeria's solar leap represents far more than an energy policy. It symbolizes the emergence of a new African model of self-reliance and innovation. By building local manufacturing capacity, Nigeria is positioning itself not just as a consumer of foreign technology, but as a producer of sustainable solutions for the entire continent. The question now is, will other African nations follow suit? Because if solar can work in Nigeria, 
A country with one of Africa's most challenging power environments, it can work anywhere. It is high time African nations recognize that the key to ending the continent's energy crisis has always been shining above us. Solar power is not a distant dream, it is an immediate, abundant, and transformational reality. Nigeria's $3 billion solar revolution may very well be the spark that lights up not just its cities and villages, but the entire African continent. Your perspective matters. What do you make of Nigeria's $3 billion solar energy push to revolutionize the energy sector? Share your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the new Africa Wealth and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our informative future videos. Stay informed, stay engaged, and thank you for watching.